What's going on guys? My name is Derek. I like cars and we are about three minutes away from picking up the Subaru. STI. Alright everyone, this is the moment I have been waiting for for many months now. There she is. That is my Outback. Formerly Scoobert Dubert. Scooby the Outback. We made it. This is a terrible angle to uh, reveal her to you because of that dent. That'll get fixed at some point soon, hopefully. But yeah, this is Scooby. 2001 Subaru Outback BH9 platform. It's got a uh, EJ252. I blew up the stock motor at about 203,000 miles from oil starvation when I went to Reno. Alright, so this is the moment that I've been waiting for for several months personally. I get this started. Ah, the classic dash. 0203 WRX. This is an LL Bean wheel, right? Uh, LL Bean wheel, wood grain. Real wood and leather. <laughs> Real wood and leather, unlike the fake wood dash, which is now silver. Yeah. Ready? Ready. dead for a while, because the HID ballast, and if you look down there, I've got my uh, unorthodox racing lightweight crank pulley. Yeah, it's slow. It's great. This is not the stock grill, this is off an 03 Legacy. This is not the stock bumper, this is off an 04 Outback. This will probably be getting replaced here eventually. Came off my buddy's GC. This is going to have a roof cup stock, it's got some giant rails on it and a bunch of rubbing strips and they're ugly so I got rid of them. This didn't come factory on the car this was a factory option this wing but I put it on myself. These are the JDM corner lights which instead of the US ones which are amber they're clear. I love that look so much more. Right. Stuff. The other wheel. <laughs> yep. If you're wondering about that the first night I bought this car back from uh, the shop that had it, it was found the next morning with this tire slashed in the sidewall. I don't think the guy did it. I wouldn't put it past uh, the individuals, but that's a whole different story. I, I like to see a bit of good in people. I don't I don't think it would go that low. Spare oil, that will be 3,000% necessary. Uh-huh. It's a Subaru after all. Uh -huh. Car. It's your baby. One last thing though, the most important thing on this whole car. In the interior shot, you may have seen the uh, little toggle switch on the center console. I'll show you what it does. Let's get up close here. That's what it does. I'm a racer in car, what can I say? For personal vanity reasons, I gotta get both cars next to each other. This is when you really realize that your not, Subaru engine has a really loud tick that's louder than GDI. Not that you made it, but <laughs> that uh, you have a lot of crippling debt. Last time I had both cars together, this was super bad. Now it's only moderately bad. I'm gonna have Randall record some footage on his phone 
hopefully it'll play nice with the footage I already have uh, when I fix it in the edit. And uh, yeah, let's get going. All right, let me get some shots for him while he does his thing. Really makes you think about doing something, doesn't it? H6 lowered? Yes. Maybe. Oh, this is a good day. Like you, you wouldn't expect an outfit to look so good so low, but it just worked here. Especially with the roof rail delete. Oh, the rail delete was the key to bring it all together. To, uh, to quote my friend Destin, it's uh, smooth. <laughs> SMOV, boy. Yeah. In the front and rear windows because they were dirty. I think we're going to the Henderson DMV now. We gotta go through the tunnel. We do have to go through the tunnel. What time is it? It is 6.52. 6.52? .52? Yeah. Ooh, we're cutting it close then. Yeah. Finally passed my H6 after a long time. I'd like to thank the Academy. I'd like to thank Subaru for building something that blows up at 200 so I can put a new motor in and uh, I'm just kidding, that was totally my fault. <laughs> oh Derek, what's that over there? You'll see. How's it going? Dude, she's so good. <laughs> I miss this car so much. Uh, it sounds great, honestly. All right, here we go. This is the fun stuff. There he is. Well, I can neither uh, confirm nor deny the excellence of the upcoming noise, but we're just going to send it anyway. absolute quickest DMV experience I've ever had in my life. So Scoob is now legal to drive and I've got a 15 day moving permit to get it back home. She's coming home. It was a good day. <laughs> okay, so now that Scoob is legal, we're out here at Discount Tire, replacing the slashed tire. Should be like an hour and a half to get it done and that will replace the steely that has been holding up the rear end. Luckily I had a warranty on this tire, so total to replace a tire, mount and balance it, put it on, and mount and balance the fronts was like 15 bucks. Discount. Big thanks to Discount Tire for getting Scoob all sorted. Now you can see how this thing is actually supposed to sit when it's got everything correct. The fitment is uh, shocking for an Outback because yeah. Also paint chips from when I tried to roll my fenders because these wheels don't fit very well <laughs> with stock fenders. But yeah, Randall went and parked the ST over there near a fellow ST squad bro. In the Outback. Are we? Maybe. Are we? Maybe. It ain't fast, but it sounds great. needs to 
to be addressed today. At least, at least it's not auto and doesn't slam up every time you shift. You park the Fiesta right there. I should have. I can. It's not too late. It's not too late to do it. Don't let your memes be dreams. Send scoops. We're about to pick up the uh, special part I decided to buy last minute. Here it is. This is a lip and splitter kit that is supposed to be for, well, this actually, Hawkeye STI that's going the different setup, getting some likely custom flares. But this is the first step towards the new build I want to do on Scoob. I want to get it situated for the autocross season this year. But I also want to prep it for something much bigger that may or may not happen, which is I want to enter my wagon in global time attack. So obviously the splitter's sitting on the ground right now, but that's some kind of idea of how it's going to look. It's going to be pretty aggressive. I am so amazed at how well Hawkeye front lips fit on the <laughs> their chin. It, it shouldn't happen, but it does. And I'm okay with it. All right, so we're out here at Subaru of Las Vegas with my Subaru from Las Vegas well from Connecticut but yeah <laughs> look who just rolled up this boy hi welcome to the vlog <laughs> squad bro love your Ultima dude sick GT up bro we're about to go get some food yeah, and then this dude's actually going to film my uh, sponsorship intro video for Super Garage and um, yeah, after that, we're hitting the lake bed. So we're out here at a car wash, just doing some prep work on the car before I start washing it. Right down the wheels with some degreaser. Sean out here set up with the uh, camera, doing my video for Super Garage. Shout out. Link not in bio, because it's not mine. Alright, we're uh, cutting to Scoob being clean, and oh my lord. This car looks absolutely amazing when it's clean. that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new one. All right guys, so we're uh, we're both exhausted. We've been up for what 30 something hours, <laughs> 40 something hours <laughs> with like 20 minutes of sleep here and there. Yeah, it's it's been a rough journey, uh, but I got almost everything done I wanted to do today. I got my baby back. Found out I'll actually be able to bring her all the way home, hopefully. As long as she doesn't give me any shit. So with probably. that said, uh, tomorrow morning I will actually probably be getting to drive a Focus RS. I don't have a phone man or anything, so I won't be able to do a full review on it. I'll probably, you know, record my thoughts on it at some point. With that, thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Take care. Have a great day.